So my creative process begins with drawings, and they're usually pen drawings. But I'm also drawing constantly, and I like drawing with charcoal, and I like working with pastels in combination with each other. But they become more specific pieces as like flat work, right? Compositional studies of greater themes that I'm working with. And so by doing that, they somehow find their way back into the orchestration of those larger sculptures as well. And I'm also going out into nature and I'm also doing landscape drawing as well. It's usually like river environments that I go to and I look at rock and water compositions, tree compositions, and then it's all about color composition coming into that. And it's just really intuitive. So there is that direct observation, but it's also pushing that realm of that creative process in terms of abstraction of color and form coming together. And that really helps with the development conceptually. I think of the ideas and the contents of my sculptural forms. Then I'll start fabricating and, and making the shapes. And so the mechanics of that are really important. So from the fabrication to the engineering, the structure of that, then to make that piece substantial and strong enough and safe enough that it can also exist within a public environment becomes really important. The beginning or the thrust of that piece is the seed embryo, right? So when the seed embryo develops, the first two shoots that come out to start photosynthesis is the cotyledon, right? It branches off and then life begins. And so those first two shoots, they become very strong and very powerful. It's like a first step more than anything else, right? And I think visually and intellectually, there's just so much power and creative energy that's about to happen. So it's that expression or that experience or the anticipation of what that outcome is going to be and maybe where that's going to go. And it's full of life. And the whole thing about seed forms is that they can push through macadam, they can push through black tap, they can grow anywhere, they can grow out of window sills if there's enough resources for that to happen. But it all starts with the seed embryo, and that's where it begins. You know, there's a lot of creative people out there in the art world doing as much as they can, right? And I think the more of that that finds its way back into the public environment, the better off community is going to be and public is going to be in general just for having that available to them. You know, creative minds coming together, creative thought processes, people working very diligently and very hard at making sure the public has access to fine art could be maybe the most important thing that we can do culturally for a community out of anything else because it encompasses everything because everybody views things differently. Everybody has a different take on it, but it's all those crossover dialogues all coming together at once that allow people to see where they are. It creates that structured environment of living and art together, and it creates humanity.